Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me. So this is video number seven in regard to our series on adding components, constraints, and tags. And of course with tags comes after tags comes schedules. And we're going to be putting a door schedule together uh, like right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember how we do that? It's under the view tab, under schedules. Again, it's an annotation component, but you'll find it under the view tab. And go to schedule quantities and scroll down and go to door. And yeah, we're all ready. So it's very similar to our room schedule, to our furniture schedule. We're going to add some, uh, some fields over here on the left-hand side to a more uh, detailed field over here for our schedule fields over on the right-hand side. So this is where, what we're going to be adding. We're going to be adding, and I'm reading from a list, type, type mark, description, type, again. Well, mark, type mark, description, type, width, height, family end type, and then level. Okay, so let's, let's, let's go down in order. One way to do this, uh, unlike what we did before, we just added everything we wanted to put in here and then rearranged the furniture, we're going to put it in order first. So if we scroll down the list, we can do it that way. So the first one's mark, and then type mark. After that is description, so go up to the top of the list, find description, we're going to add that, and it puts it in order on the right-hand side. Scroll down to mark, or type, I'm sorry. And then, um, let's see, width, height, family and type. So width, height, family and type. Oh, there it is, sorry about that. And then finally level. So uh, we're going to be able to identify which level these doors are going to be in. Now, we've only designed everything for one level here, but uh, if you were to have multiple levels in your commercial project, you probably want to have that. So when you go to OK, there's our schedule. So let's talk about this a little bit. We're going to go back and make some changes. Our mark, we want to make, we want to center all these numbers. Same with type mark. Description, we're going to add the description as we see fit. And pretty much all the other information is filled in for us. So our level is going to be on ground floor. We're going to stretch it out a little bit so we can read it. And it'd be nice to make all these things capitalized, but uh, you know we're kind of limited in that. But I did find a plugin for that. And if I can get that to work, I'll show that uh, to you in a different video. Oh man, that's pretty long. That is very long. Okay. So we'll have to remember that when we put our door schedule on our plans. We want to make sure that we stretch that out there too. So our curtain wall double front door is the only one that doesn't have a mark. We're going to enter a description here for uh, as we go. So let's go ahead and make some of these modifications. So remember uh, everything that we had in that dialog box in regard to our fields, filters, sorting, formatting, and appearance can all be accessed over here. So we're not going to change any of the filters or fields or filters. Sorting, we're going to go ahead and do some sorting and formatting. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and do our formatting. So the mark and our type mark, we're going to make that uh, alignment center. So go down here, we'll make that to center. Appearance, we're going to take out that blank row before data. And sort in, we're going to sort everything by by our mark. So this is uh, with the door schedule. We're going to make sure that we start from door number one con consecutively, follow that, and go on through. So we're going to go to ascending after that. So we're going to start with door one, and then go on up to how however many doors that we do have. And then we're going to go to OK. So our mark for our curtain wall door, it's the last door we put in. For some reason, it doesn't have a mark. So let's go ahead and put that in, change that to 15, so you know it's the one from the very first slot down to the very last slot. In description, we're going to call that single flush maybe, or we'll say that for Bob's office, or something simpler. And remember when you put in a text, it should always be um, capitalized. And I'm not going to bore you by um, you know, going through each one of these things and defining that. But one thing you'll notice is that whatever description you put in from one door, one type of door, is going to have that description for all the doors. So it's going to actually follow the type mark when it does this. So as I have a door specific for a mark, it's going to have a description for the type mark. And what description, a more of a reasonable description, would be something that would describe the door a little bit better. Perhaps a, a finish on the door, maybe a walnut finish, or something like that. That would apply to all the doors on the inside or all the doors that would be applied to that type mark. Okay, by clicking in here, again it's going to copy that for all the other different elements and maybe we'll call that a maple finish for this one. And it'll apply that to the rest of the doors. And of course our curtain wall door is going to be glass with trim 
because no more doors to apply there, and we'll call this a natural finish perhaps. Okay, I told you I wouldn't bore you by filling this all in, but I'm ending up filling it in anyway, so sorry about that. And again, what that does is it creates a complete schedule for us, and that's ready to be inserted into a sheet. So, let's do this. Let's compare our schedules in the next film, and we'll conclude this here. Thank you for joining me.